Hello and welcome to the HP Networking Switch Configuration and Demo Series. In today's session we're going to be talking about configuring link aggregation control protocol on HP Comware based switches. For today's session there are no platform or OS version dependencies. This configuration is valid for all HP Comware based switching platforms. In this session you will learn how to create a dynamic LACP group on HP Comware based switches and how to verify the configuration. In this demonstration, we'll be creating a link aggregation group consisting of two member ports. We will then configure the aggregation group as a trunk port and associate the appropriate VLANs. When configuring a link aggregated interface in Comware, the order of execution is very important. First, you need to create the link aggregated interface. Next, you need to associate any member ports and then return to the link aggregated interface to make any further configuration changes. The next few slides will show you how to configure the link aggregated interface and then also how to verify the configuration and status. In Comware, in order to make configuration changes, you must first go into System View. Now remember, in creating link aggregation groups, the order of execution is important, so the first thing you need to do is create your bridge aggregation group. Once the aggregation group is, is created, we'll configure this as link mode dynamic to negotiate with our neighboring switch. The next thing we need to do is associate our interfaces with a link aggregation group. We'll be using interface 23 and 24 in this example. Once we get into an interface view, we, we associate this interface with the previously created link aggregation group. Comware allows the use of up arrow commands to repeat the previous command. We're now into our second interface. We associated it with our link aggregation group. And the next thing we need to do is return to the bridge aggregation interface. And in our case, we'll be configuring it as port mode trunk and we'll be associating three previously created VLANs. In this case VLANs 10, 20, and 30. Comware offers a feature called display this. This allows you to view the configuration within the current view. So here we see the configuration of our bridge aggregation group 1. In order to see the status of our link aggregation interface, we, we type display link aggregation verbose and we see the configuration and the status of the newly created bridge aggregation group. Here we see we're referring to bridge aggregation group 1. We see we have mode dynamic. We see our interfaces and their status as selected. This indicates that our link aggregation group is up and the link is functional. In this series we learn the proper steps for creating and configuring a link aggregation interface on HP Comware based switches and how to verify the configuration and status. Look forward to seeing you in our next session in the HP networking switch configuration and demo series.